Welcome to our video on optimizing your Zendesk instance. This video will serve as an introduction to this series, give you the ultimate optimization checklist, and help point you in the right direction. Here at Zendesk, we believe that maintenance of your instance should be an ongoing and consistent practice, but we understand that this can't always be the case. With this in mind, we've created the ultimate checklist to help you get started. Let's get into it. First, you'll want to ensure your branding in Zendesk aligns with your company's overall branding. This means adding signatures to your agent profiles, updating your Help Center theme to match your company's current branding, and even personalizing your email templates with your brand name. It might seem small, but it's important that your customers know who they're working with and feel connected to you when they reach out for support. Secondly, let's optimize your workflows and channels to support your team effectively. Organize your views using groups and sorting, set up SLAs to track performance, utilize macros to streamline responses, and don't forget to integrate the web widget onto your site for seamless support access for your customers. Next, let's focus on your business rules. You'll want to ensure that triggers and automations streamline your workflows to increase your team's efficiency. This can look like auto-solving pending tickets after a certain amount of time, automatic closing solve tickets, and even notifying agents and managers about a bad CSAT rating. Business rules are a powerful way to get the most out of your Zendesk instance, and it's so important to regularly ensure that they're serving you and your team. Your help center is your best friend when it comes to deflecting tickets and promoting self-service to your customers. Be sure to keep your content fresh and relevant. Add more articles in the promoted article section and even make the search bar bigger to promote self-service. It's important that your help center should evolve alongside your business, serving as a dynamic resource for your customers. Last but not least, making informed decisions about your support experience requires solid metrics. You can dive into these metrics by checking the pre-built dashboards in Zendesk Explorer, tracking your agent's KPIs and productivity, and even using different tools and integrations to further Zendesk's reporting capabilities. So there you have it, a practical checklist to help you optimize your Zendesk experience and elevate your customer support game. In this video series, we're going to cover a lot of things to help you self-audit your account and help you get started on a routine of maintenance. And while we've already covered a lot, I want you to remember one simple phrase throughout this series. A clean and organized Zendesk is a happy Zendesk. By effectively maintaining your instance and practicing some of these optimization tips and tricks, you can increase your team efficiency, scale and grow easily, and ensure you're getting the most out of the tool. Thank you for watching this video, and we'll see you next time.